Damn, Catapult got up this morning before I did. Uh, let's see how she do today. I'm curious to see if they have any tricks up their sleeve. Anything that they really can do with all the new shit in place. And this, you know, coming on the cusp of all that. No time for them to prepare or anything. Um, yeah, this is really all they'll be able to do is normal shorting. Like, I don't think they'll be able to put this thing into a chokehold like they did with AMC and GME and all the earlier meme stocks. Um, this does not qualify as a meme stock to me, personally. It doesn't. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see how they play today. Very, very interesting. It's just killing me, man. It's all these morning videos out there. People don't know what the fuck they're talking about with AMC, dude. They just don't. And they've supposedly been here since January. All these guys have been here since January. And I just, A, I don't believe that. I don't believe it. If you were here for the run up here and held and lost that shit and then saw this, you got out. I don't give a fuck who you are. You at least took a huge chunk of your money and got out. There was no way you were going to risk sitting for six more months <laughs> waiting for another move. And maybe that is the move. Uh, but everyone's like, we were up to 108 million shares on loan. Now we're at 118. No, we were at 130 million shares. The day it decided to blow up, we were at 130 million shares out on loan. The utilization was at like a little over, or the um, shortage was at over a little, little over 20% uh, on the day when you were watching it. Um, and like I said, back in July, we, we, had, we around this, this point here, we were like a little over 110 million shares. Uh, the short interest was just about to like eclipse 20% and it, it dropped, <laughs> like the price went down and the shares went down and the SI went down, everything went down. So, you know, I just don't, it's craziness. It's just the, the amount of bullshit information, the amount of jack your tits information that just gets pushed out there day after day after day. That's just not right. It's not true. And like everyone keeps saying, yeah, we went from 14 to 70. If you were here before June, we had 14 to 70 run. We didn't have a 14 to 70 run. It wasn't what we had. We went from 14 up to like 20 in a couple days. Um, and then we went through the 20s to the 30s, and then back down into the 20s, and then back up into the 30s, and then into the 40s, and then back down, I think, into the 30s one more time. Yeah, and then it blew up the next day. Like, there was, it was a couple, like, a full solid week, like 10 days or so, of going from, from going to 14 up to 70 we did not go from 14 dollars to 77 dollars that's why when people keep saying oh we you know we 7x we didn't 7x at all we didn't even technically technically double um because we had hit 44 dollars closed at 39 and then it decided to have some shitty pre-market action where it dropped but then all of our after hours action and then it took off in the pre-market. Um, oh yeah, all this right here is, imagine that. This was 14. Back here, like on the 25th, this was when we started going from 14 on up into the teens. Broke through, had a couple days when we were battling in the teens. Then broke clear over the 20 line mark and then it was like a couple days in the 20s. And then we got into the 30s, like, it, it was a, <laughs> it was a trip to go there. It wasn't, God, man, like, ew. that's just the shit that bothers me. That's the information you guys get. You get information from people that were not fucking here, back here. I don't even think they were here, here. I think there was a bunch of people, because all these channels that I saw, they all popped up after June. They all popped up after June, all of them. And all of them are talking about how they, you know, ah, yeah, if you were back here with us in this year, then you'd know, and blah, 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 and then they don't know. They're not giving you correct information. They're just not. 
and it's all all just to get you to click and jack your T's or your D's or whatever. I don't know what the politically correct term is for that. <sighs> it's just, just whatever. All right. Well, I need BBIG to tank a little bit today. <laughs> I do. I need it to. I need it to tank just a little bit so I can get rid of this put and make some profit on it. Okay, well, at least we're about under where it closed, and I was kind of profitable. I'd be happy to see this come out the gate and get kicked. <laughs> I can get rid of my put and then buy a call real quick and then fucking fly. <laughs> I'd be happy to see that. Oh. Mm, they already trying. They do not want this to go over seven in the pre market. Look at them. They do not want it going over seven. They are working on it. Working hard. Working hard. I just don't think this can be stopped. I don't. I mean, I don't want to say that. That's way too. Uh, I don't want to say that. Don't scratch that. Because obviously it can be. Obviously. There's like. Obviously. It got done to AMC, GME, all that shit. It's been done. But I just think that maybe it's too late. I think that maybe they really thought they had this in the bag. This wasn't anything they had to worry about. People weren't even paying attention to it. There were so many other meme stocks out there for them to fuck with. And the next top 10 short squeeze. That's crazy to me that this was on nobody's stocks to watch. Top short squeeze potential. Is a lot. Like this was not on anyone's radar. And this bitch is so heavily shorted. Uh, it's craziness. But I just think that it, I don't think that they have the time to devote to this to really prevent it from doing what I think it is going to do. Because there is just a lot of people coming into this now. There's a lot of interest in this thing. I mean, shit. But <laughs> just dead flat. You know? And that was actually what Monday. That was the day I was telling everyone, yo, you know, keep your eyes on this bitch when the bell rings. <laughs> It's wild. Well, if you put $100,000 in right here, you've almost made $100,000 in profit on Friday. It's still going up that way. That's crazy, man. <sighs> One day. <laughs> One day. So, again, I'm still, you know, when I'm in, I'm in. Um, let's see what Catapult does this morning. I don't know if I want to open up right out the gate and fatten my position a bit. But I do think they're going to try to scare people out. It is stupid. It's dumb at this point. Like, I don't get it. If you are an intelligent finance professional and you see this happening and you've seen the track record of retail, meme stocks, everything, you get out. You just, you get out. That's bottom line. You get out. The thing's damn near doubled from where you tried to kill it, and it's fought back against everything you've done to try to push it down. It's broke through levels you've tried to keep it under. This is what AMC fucking did before it blew up in June. I, I would just get out. Like, why wouldn't you? Why would you even... Uh, you know, whatever. I guess when you got all that money... You don't really got to care about losing it, I guess. I don't know. But we'll see how all this shit goes today. Very, very interesting week, I believe. Very interesting. Where's this at? Alright. Okay. Okay. Alright, spirit. Let's do something then. Let's do something. What's old Kirk doing in the after hours? This thing has no reason to not continue a trend up. It just, it doesn't. It has no reason not to. Phenomenal earnings. This is not one of those crazy fuck with me stocks or anything like that. This is, you know, this is just a normal type growth stock, you know, but if you, if you put enough money into some of these stocks right after earnings calls, if they react positively, you can make a nice chunk of change in, you know, the next two weeks to six weeks, depending on how long the momentum keeps up, but, um, another little, little tip for you, 
you know, wait for earnings calls on, you know, bigger stocks and uh, see what where the momentum's going. And if it looks like it's going up and it's reacting positively, you know, dump a little bit of money in there that you expect to take out in four weeks. Call it, average it out to four weeks. Um, you should be pretty happy with yourself. So I did the fucking, I only bought one goddamn call before the earnings because I just had a feeling it was going to be good. If I would have bought like five of them, I'd be sitting pretty. But, but it moves slow though, that's the thing. Like everyone's so used to these immediate, fast, violent gains. Like this thing clawed itself up. Like it started at, uh, I think it was like negative four when I bought it because that's just how them fuckers do with their spreads. And, you know, just stair-stepped up, then went to, like, 8, then went to 12, then went to 24, then went to 30, and went in, like, in over the course of a week. It's, you know, Friday it was up, like, 150 bucks or something, 120 bucks, something like that. I don't know. Lost half its value now because it peaked there and went down here, but not a huge deal. I'm pretty sure it sh should get it back. Should. I don't know, unless they're watching me. It's like, oh, God, he's trying to get people in the Kirk. Short, 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 short. <laughs> Who fucking knows? What else am I sitting on? Chip it is pissing me the fuck off. I know that. I mean, this bitch is shorted. I, I know that, but goddamn. Like, what the fuck? This was not one of the shorty distorty goddamn stocks. And they are just hitting it for no fucking reason. None. Like, none. Just hating on the EV sector. It's wild. This bitch had this fucking run and then immediately shorted more than half of what was returned. It's just silliness. Alright, well, let's get ready for the bell. Market's about to open. Official pre-market. See what everything does, and I will touch base with you guys after the first hour ish or somewhere in between. Now.